Behold, one white butterfly, ghost of wisdom, is flying over the foolish sea. All the books of this world are shut. From inside the house, a poodle's tail came out, welcoming. From inside the house, my heart came out, rejoicing and welcoming. I removed my helmet, lay down my gun, undid my bandolier. I took off my ox leather boots, removed my socks, left sock first. My bare feet emerged, pitiful, as fresh shoots beaten down. I looked at my wife's photo. I began to weep. The reason why that sea without ancestors breaks in waves like that, day after day, is because it longs to become the sky. It cannot be otherwise. The reason why that sky foolishly, day and night, produces clouds and then erases them is because it longs to come down to the sea. It cannot be otherwise. The reason why I cannot live on my own like an empty bottle, why I cannot live only with kith and kin, is because I long to become someone else, if just once. Otherwise, I have to live in ignorance of the countless others surrounding me in this world. You people marvel at the boy. Marvel at the boy's song. Autumn reveals my bones. My heart has been bruised to the core. It has become the blue sky. There is no broken knife lightning, no thunder. Yellow sea at sunset. No peacock's tail floats on the sea on the mountain slopes, and inside their shadows, the fallen leaves are blowing about. The soul regrets. At the seaside, a few shells are playing. Now I want to learn nothing. Oh, my ignorance in the autumn. I am most grateful to have grown up only in this little country, south of the Armistice Line.
Look, now there is no soaring chimney smoke in the village at dusk. No sound of parents calling children. I would say that this is how we are today. A woman walking alone murmurs as though she has a companion. A woman reading a novel weeps with the weeping of a woman abandoned in the novel. Isn't such a woman at times also someone's mother? How can the Lady Maya of ancient India alone, or the Virgin Mary alone, be a mother? And a woman who has no child, yet can search through the darkness after sunset, isn't she also a mother? A thousand years before, I was you. A thousand years after, you will be me. Together, we are listening, all ears. Late in the night, snow is falling, soundlessly, soundlessly. We are both listening. One life dreams of another life. Late spring white pear blossoms, their hearts throbbing, await the moon. One life resembles another life. In the summer night, the field of buckwheat flowers awaits the moon. One life inhumes another life. It's winter. The snow that fell heavily yesterday awaits the moon with all its heart. I throw a stone. Buried in the snow, it begins another life. Finally, the moon rises.